A question that I've been getting asked a lot this week is how do I improve my user skill on defense? Well, the first thing we need to figure out is are we going to use her a safety or a linebacker? And if we're going to use her a linebacker, we definitely want it to be the middle linebacker. It just gives us free reign to be able to roam wherever we want on the field. Now, one misconception that I think a lot of players that struggle with user skill is they think that people are just running around with any type of player being able to make plays all the time. But that's not true. Uh, we want speed out there. You know, speed kills in Madden, and the faster that you can get to an area of the field, then the better chance that it is that you're able to make a play. So let's just say that we're New York Jets fans, okay? We want to use the Jets every single uh, game, and we want to use her the middle linebacker. So let's just go ahead and take a look at our options for middle linebacker. Our two best linebackers on the entire team are Bart Scott and David Harris, who are 75 and 78 speed. Those guys are just not an option to use her. Now, for me, um, you know, any player that I'm not user controlling on defense, I want to ha them to have, you know, really good attributes. But hit power is the one thing that I look at the most because computer controlled players with high hit power are going to cause turnovers by hit sticking you and uh, just being able to make big plays. So, luckily for us, we have Bart Scott 93 and David Harris 88 hit power. So, we're not going to use those guys at middle linebacker. Let's just go ahead and get both of them out of there. Now let's look at our left outside linebacker option. We have Brian Thomas. He doesn't offer us anything. He's only 79 overall. He's 77 speed. He just doesn't have anything other than that six foot four height. So let's put David Harris there. And at right outside linebacker, we have Calvin Pace. He's an 80 overall. That's not bad. Six foot four, again, we like that. But again, only 78 speed, and his acceleration and agility are only 75 and 85. So we have to get him out of there as well, and we're going to put Bart Scott. So now we have on the outside Bart Scott and David Harris. So anytime guys are going to try to run to the outside or something like that and they get hit by the computer, that hit power is going to come into effect big time. Now at middle linebacker, what are our options? You can see these guys here, 76 speed, like everyone on the page is a 70 speed that's not really going to do as well so if these were my only options i would definitely be using the safety if i'm going to be the jets because there's just not anything that i can use here to be able to run around and make user user plays luckily though if we scroll down we see a guy named demario davis this guy is actually a beast to be able to user control he's got 87 speed and 93 excel so the one thing that you need to know is when you're using a player, the better that you get, you know, this guy's only a 64 overall. If I'm going to use him, I honestly feel like I'm going to be a 99. When it comes to awareness, if the computer is controlling this guy, he's got 49 awareness. But when you control him, it's all about your user skill and what type of awareness. I would believe that he would be a 99 awareness for me. So what does that make him really? That just makes him a beast of a linebacker if you take those things into consideration he's even got 85 strength so 87 speed 93 acceleration 88 agility which means we can run around in circles as much as we want just a great option to put at middle linebacker so that's the first thing that you need to know about getting your user skill up on defense is getting the fastest tallest players out there if you're going to use her as safety you definitely want him to be the tallest fastest guy that you can find on the team uh, if a, Let's say that you have a safety uh, on the team that's, say, an 86 speed and his hit power is only, like, an 82. But then you got, like, a 44 overall. Like, look at some of these players here, like a Ricky Sapp or this Marcus Downton guy. I mean, they both are 48 and 51 overall, but they have 85 speed. Uh, Ricky Sapp has a 94 acceleration. That's not a bad option when you're user controlling a guy, right? So we want to get our tallest fastest players out there especially at safety uh, again so if you have a 50 overall safety who is like six foot two you know 90 speed 90 excel uh, easily replace him into the spot where the guy is 86 speed with only 82 hit power that's who we want to be user controlling so now we need to talk about what it is that we actually need to do on defense to improve our user skill now, in years past, using the strafe button was an absolute must for great user ability on defense. Madden 13 is the first year that strafing isn't really needed, which to me is quite disappointing, but that's just how it is, so you've got to adjust. 
Now, unfortunately for me, the habit of strafing still does cost me from time to time because holding LT is really just kind of ingrained into my soul. I mean, I've been using that method for 10 years and it's really hard to get away from. It's still useful in the game, but it's just not really a requirement like it was in years past. But that's good news if you're the type that has always struggled on defense. Now, if you're new to Madden, even better, because this year they added a new feature for the first time called Ballhawk, which was implemented to even out the game. You know, EA had had complaints for years about how much of a gap there was between players who could use or dominate all game, giving the lesser player no chance. So the reality is that this year, all you need to do is run around holding speed burst and Y at the same time, and the CPU will do the rest. Now, I'm not going to lie, it is kind of annoying. You know, I'll never forget, you know, when the game came out, I played against a player who never got user picks. And I told him about this method. And in four games, he had 11 user picks against me, proving that they really did close that gap in the area of the game. Now, he, of course, loved it, though, as a player who always did a good job of getting into position, but never being able to actually make a play. It changed his entire game. Now, the only way to get better at something is by practicing. So the more repetitions that we have, the better that we're going to become. So what I want you guys to do is take advantage of unranked games. You know, whether it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 in the morning, there's always somebody looking for an unranked game. So what we want to do is, uh, you know, if we have the day off work or the day off school, we just want to get into an unranked game, maybe 4 or 5, you know, if we can, if we have the time, and not worry about getting our ass beat. Even if you're losing 35 to nothing four games in a row, we don't care. What I want you to do is put yourself in a situation where you're in a cover zero defense. So here I'm calling nickel normal over storm brave. I'm showing blitz and hot blitzing both linebackers. And the reason I like to use a play like this is because it's going to get really nice pressure. But it's also going to make it so it's up to me to figure out what the first read is. If I don't get to the first read then they're probably going to torch me. Um, when it comes to making a second read, if I take that first read away, chances are against a defense like this, they're going to get sacked before they get to that second read. So what I want to do is I want to you know, do a lot of faking out. If you watched my defensive highlights video, you'll notice that I do a lot of running around, faking like I'm going to come through the A-gap, faking like I'm going to blitz to the outside, dropping back into coverage, things like that. So this is the kind of thing that we want to do against our opponents. So let's just pretend like maybe we'll want to stop Tony Gonzalez. We think that they're going to go to Tony Gonzalez once they snap the ball. So what I want to do is I want to bait them by making them think that I'm going to play over here. So I'm just going to kind of run around the line of scrimmage, and then as soon as the ball is snapped, I'm going to come over and cover Tony Gonzalez. The same thing with the slot Y route. If I think that they're going to go to that route, then I'm going to fake like I'm coming into the middle and then swoop over to that Y route by holding uh, the right trigger, which is speed burst. And then once you get over there, as I said, the game has changed, so you can just press Y and you're able to make a play. Now, you can wait until the ball is thrown and then press Y. That, there's no problem with that. But if you're the type of person that's really struggled with user skill, if I was you, I would probably just hold Y because of that ball hawk feature. So really, this is what I want to do is, you know, you're also going to have to be responsible for anything deep. It's a cover zero. So you're responsible for basically taking away the first read. And you're going to struggle. You're going to get you're going to get torched probably when you first start doing this. But don't let it discourage you. I really do think that this is going to be the best way for you to be able to get your user skill up there is just by putting yourself almost in the worst predicament as possible and then just run around and try to take away the first read by sending heat. Um, <clears throat> so really, that's my tip. That's uh, what I think that you guys need to do in order to get your user skill up. The more practice you have at something, the better you're gonna become. So as I said, don't worry about the fact that you might get killed 35, 42 to nothing. It doesn't matter. Just rep after rep after rep after rep. It Just keep going and keep going and keep going and I promise you that you'll become better. And even just by doing that, you're going to learn, you know, certain formations, people have different tendencies, right? If it's a, if it's like single back ace, you know, people love to go to tight ends. If it's single back doubles, you know, people love to go to slot receivers or tight ends. If it's, you know, depending on the formation, there's just certain areas or certain uh, players that people are going to focus on most. And you'll learn that by using this concept. You're just going to learn about what people 
love to do on offense and what their first read is going to become. So anyway, in my opinion, I think that's the best way that you're going to be able to get your user skill up is just by putting yourself in the worst predicament as possible, which is a heavy blitz, cover zero, and just try to take away that first read.